Good day. Welcome to another session of Fog Accountancy Tutorials. Today, we are going to continue our lesson on overhead analysis. And then we are going to take a question and then we'll solve. Now, I have not given you the format yet, I know. But then let us look at the question. When we take the question, when we are about to solve it, I'll just give the format. It's not a format that you have to list. It's just a table, okay? So I'm going to read the question to you and then I'm going to give you a table and then we are going to go by it. Now, this question that I'm going to give you is a very simple question. We are just going to deal with two departments. The purpose is to teach you how to do apportionment with the basis. Now, in the subsequent questions, we are going to, from here, we are going to look at other ones that involve service departments, and then we are also going to learn how to do reapportionment. And so overheads, it's also like a series. We are taking it step by step until we understand the complete concepts of overhead accounting. Okay, so without wasting my time, let me read the question to you, and I'm going to teach you how to draw the table to solve it. This is just a two-department question. All right. The following data relates to the cost incurred in the production department of Mustafa Manufacturing Company for the year ended 31st December 2018. So we have indirect cost, indirect material cost, yes, indirect material cost. We have production department A, 25,000, production department B, 20,000, giving us a total of 45,000 for indirect material cost. Indirect wages, production department A, 15,000, production department B, 10,000, giving us a total of 25,000. So what they have actually done is that they have done a direct allocation. I told you that direct allocation means that the expenditure ha has been allotted straight to a particular department. So for the indirect material cost, we are already aware that the components, this component is for A and B. They've broken that down. The same for indirect labor or indirect wages. Now let's look at the indirect expenses. The indirect expenses have not been split. In other words, we call them common expenses. So we are going to now apportion the common expenses. What are common expenses? Common expenses are expenses that are incurred jointly by two or more departments. Okay, so these indirect expenses are common expenses and we have to now use a suitable basis to apportion them. And so look at the indirect expenses. We have rent and rates, 30,000. It is not split into A and B. We are going to do that apportionment. And then we have insurance of machines, 12,000. Supervisor salaries, 32,000. Depreciation on building, 15,000. Electric power, 20,000. And then we have depreciation of machinery to be 18,000, giving us a total of 127,000 for the expenses, giving us total cost of 197,000. So, we have been given the total expenses. Let us look at the additional information where we have the basis to be used. Now look at the basis. Additional information says department production A, department production A and B. Area occupied is there as 300 for department A, 200 for department B, giving us 500. Cost of machinery, 300,000 for A, 150,000 for B, giving us 450,000. Number of employees is 100,000 for A, A, sorry, 100 for A, 60 for Department B. And the final one, effective horsepower, 25 for Department A, 15 for B, giving us a total of 40. So you see what they have actually done is that they have given you a basis of apportionment. This basis of apportionment, you are going to use, then they have figures. So the figures for the basis of apportionment are to be used as ratios to split the expenses up there. So it is you that is going to decide which basis of apportionment is most suitable for which expense. And that is your job. <laughs> All right, so we move on. Now, you are required to prepare an overhead analysis sheet showing the basis of apportionment. So let me give you the, tab, the table format first, and then from there, we are going to solve the question together. Okay, so... We are solving this together. The company's name is Mustafa Manufacturing Company. And then I'll call it Overhead Analysis 
sheets. Now look at the table format. Now, this is how to go about it. So, we have um, so I'll call this place type of overhead or overhead type. And then this place will be called basis of apportionment. Now, in this question, we have only two departments, A and B. So, department A, department B, and they are all production departments. So, let's take note, production department. Now, I am stressing on this because in the subsequent questions, there will be service departments as well, and we separate production from service. Okay? And then, subsequently, we are also going to look at reapportionments of service departments. So, let us take note. And then, we have the total. So let me show my currency sign, Ghana CD, for each of them. So this is the format for the overhead analysis sheet. Very, very simple. Now we are going to solve this question. Okay, we are going to solve this question. Now, let's go back to the question and look at something. We are told that indirect material costs we have already been given for department A and B as 25,000 and 30, 000, uh, 25 and 20. And because of that, it will be called a direct allocation. So type of overhead is indirect material cost. Now, the basis of apportionment, because it has already been split, it is called direct allocation. That is the basis of apportionment. And department A, is 25,000. Department B was given as 20,000, and the total is 45,000. So that is the easiest you can have, the direct allocation. So we are done with the indirect material cost. The next one in the question is indirect labor cost. So we are just sharing, okay? We are just sharing. Indirect labor cost. That is also direct allocation. Because it was given in the question straight away. We, it has been splitted. Now, department A is 15,000. Department B is 10,000. So the total is the addition of the two, 25,000. In other words, the total has already been given. And when we get to the indirect expenses, that is where we are going to split. And the totals has been given to us in the question. So our job is just to share according to the common basis. Okay. Now we move on to the indirect expenses. We have rent and rates, 30,000. Now, the job now is to find the basis of apportionment for rent and rate. So among the basis that we have, we have four of them, area occupied, cost of machine, number of, em number of employees, and then effective horsepower. Which one do you think is the most appropriate for rent and rate? I said it earlier. Rent and rate, most common basis is the area occupied. And so we'll see rent and rates. And then under the basis of apportionment, you write area occupied. Now, what is the total value for rent and rates? It's 30,000. 30,000. And so what we are going to do is that with this 30,000, we are going to split them into department A and B. So let's look at the ratio for area occupied. Area occupied, department A is 300, department B is 200. Total is 500. So this is how you are going to work it. It's going to be for department A, for rent. And rent. I'm just showing workings for this one. The subsequent ones I may not show. So department A is going to be 300 over the total of 500 times this 30,000. You know how to calculate ratios. And so that is going to give us 18,000 for department A. And then department B, rent uh, area occupied is 200. 
over the total of 500 times 30,000. That is going to give us 12,000. And so having worked this outside, you come to the solution and then under Department A, you write 18,000 for the renting rate. Department B is 12,000. Total remains 30,000. That was already given in the question. So the totals have been given from the question, but you are going to do the splitting on your own. And it's supposed to be based on the most appropriate basis of apportionment, which in this case is the area occupied. If we had chosen a different basis, we would have gotten different figures here, and that would have been a disaster. So I really want you to understand that very well. Okay. So after the rent and rates, the next expense that we have here, or the next overhead, is insurance of machines. Now, going through the basis of apportionment, okay, so let me first write insurance of machines. Going through the basis of apportionment, which one do you think is the most appropriate? We have area occupied, we have cost of machine, we have number of employees, and then we have effective host, horsepower. Which one is the most appropriate? We all know that it is the cost of the machine. That is the most appropriate basis. Cost of machine. I'm sure your understanding is coming alive. So with the cost of the machine, let's look at the ratio for that. It is 300,000 for department A and 150,000 for department B. So the ratio will be 300 over 450 for A and then 150 over 450 for B. The total for insurance of machines is 12,000. So we can put the total there and then we split. So it means that for department A, it's going to be it's 300 over 450. So 300,000, you can just reduce it to your own. 300,000 is for department A. Let me just write. The total is 450,000 for the cost of machine times the total of 12,000. That is going to give us 8,000. So for department B, it's going to be 150,000, which is for the cost of machine, over 450,000, which is the total ratio, times the same 12,000. That's going to give us 4,000. All these things, you can just punch them on your calculator. And so when you come into the space, you put 8,000 for department A, 4,000 for department B. The total becomes the same as 12,000. We are done with the second expense. And then we look at the next one. Supervisor salaries, 32,000. Supervisor salaries. So, supervisor's salaries. The total is 32,000. What do you think will be the most common or most appropriate basis for apportionment based on what they have given us in the question? not based on what you know outside. We always have to limit our thinking to the scope of the question. So supervisors, salaries. What do you think will happen? Now, supervisors are the most appropriate basis. Area occupied doesn't look too appropriate. Cost of machine, no. Horsepower, no. The most appropriate is the number of employees that he is supervising. So and the number of employees is 100 for department A, 60 for department B. Total ratio is 160. So. The appropriate basis is number sorry, of employees. And so for department A, it is 100 over 160. You can show the workings times 32,000. And that is going to give us 20,000 for department A. You can confirm that from your calculator. I'm not going to show the workings again. And then department B is going to be 12. I have already given two illustrations, so I'm sure you know how to go about this. So that is it for the number of employees. And then the next one that we have to look at from the question is depreciation on building. Depreciation on building. Which one is the most appropriate? We have area occupied, cost of machine, number of employees, and effective horsepower. The most appropriate here for depreciation of building is the area occupied. And so the ratio is 300 is to 200. So we use the same ratio. So depreciation on building. The appropriate basis is area occupied. The total amount is 15,000. 
Ghana cities. So if we use the area occupied as a basis to split, we are going to get 9,000 for department A and 6,000 for department B, giving us a total of 15,000. Then we are good to go. Okay, so the next one is electric power, 20,000. So electric power. This one, we were not told whether it was metered or not metered. The total is 20,000. We were not told whether it was metered or not metered, but we have effective horsepower, and that is the most appropriate basis, as we all know. So for electric power, it is effective horsepower. That is for non-metered, but we are not told, but it is the most suitable. And so for the effective horsepower, Department A is 25, Department A is C, A, B is 15. So the ratio is 20, A, the ratio is 25 is to 15. And so the total ratio becomes 40. So for Department A, it's, it's going to be 25 over 40 times 20,000. B is going to be 15 over 40 times 20,000. And that is going to give us 12,500 for Department A and 7,500 for department B. Very, very understandable, I'm sure. All right. Now let's look at the final expense for the indirect expenses, depreciation of machinery. What is the most common basis? We have area occupied, cost of machine. In fact, the most common basis is the cost of the machine, as we can see. So depreciation of the machine The most common basis is cost, uh, the most appropriate is cost of machine. And the, the cost involved, the total cost is 18,000. So we are going to split according to the ratio of the cost of the machinery. And that one, we have already used it. 300,000 is to 150,000. So when we use the same ratio for the depreciation on the machine, we are going to get 12,000 for Department A and 6,000 for Department B, giving us a total of 18,000. Okay, so having been able to do all that, then the next thing to do is just to find the totals of each of them. And so you just need to find the totals. So the total overhead incurred by Production A is 119,500. And then for Department B, it's 77,500. And then the total is 197,000. And I know this was already given in the question. So we are already aware of that. So in other words, for the total overheads incurred, this portion will be incurred, uh, incurred by Department A and B, who incurred 77,500. So we write here total. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how to go by overhead analysis sheet. This is how to go. Now, in fact, we are not done yet. This is just the first step to enlighten you. In the next video, we are going to solve a question that involves a service department as well. And then I'm going to teach you how to reapportion service departments to production because we do reapportionments. And I'm going to show you different methods of doing the reapportionment. Remember to subscribe to this channel if it is your first time. Share this video and let others also have a benefit. And until we meet again for the part three, it is bye for now.